We've got the syslog tab here and the log viewer. These are going to show some of the events that are going on and the syslog server. This list box will reflect all of the log messages that are sent. So I'm going to go back to let's see we'll go on router 1 here and to configure logging I'll enter the command from uh, configure terminal mode logging and we'll just bring down all the potential uh, options that we have here. You can see login, you can either enter the host name or IP address uh, or you can specify the host itself. I like to type in uh, login host and I'll specify the IP address and you can see there's uh, several diff different options here or you can just hit enter to enter that in. We won't get into all of uh, all of the the options here. You can see the transport protocol. You can set it to either TCP or UDP. We'll just use the default, which is UDP, and hit enter. The next thing that I want to specify here is the level of logging that will be uh, to sent to the actual server itself. And logging trap right here, the trap command. If we type that in and hit the question mark, we can see our options. We have uh, alert levels 0 through 7, 0 being the highest, which w is an emergency, and 7 being the lowest uh, debugging. That's going to show all of our messages. And since we won't be generating too many messages here, I, I just want to send every possible mes message over to that server. So I can either specify a level of uh, 0 through 7 or I can type in the actual uh, the message itself here debugging and what that will do is log every message beginning at this level up to the highest possible level so if I were to specify a level of 1 what that's going to do is uh, it's going to report 1 and above it won't give me any debugging messages, we'll uh, log everything from alerts all the way up to emergencies. So I'm going to hit enter to go ahead and enable that. In the meantime I'll bring up a telnet session to the switch here using TerraTerm. It's going to prompt me for the password. Uh, I always use the password lowercase Cisco for all my labs and I'm going to go into configure terminal mode and uh, just like I did on router 1 specify the host name or IP we can see there's uh, several fewer options here and I will explain in just a moment about the origin ID and how to differentiate and, uh, and add a little tag to each message for uh, basically specifying which device that message is coming from when you have more than one device that's reporting to a syslog server. So I'm going to set the login uh, IP address to the same 192.168.1.100 and I want to set the login trap level to debugging. Okay. Just to generate some messages here I'm going to go ahead and create a loopback interface on the router 1 and I'll do a shut and then a no shut. I'll wait for those commands to enter in. You can see the interface is down and we'll bring it back up. Now on switch A I'm going to do a debug for Telnet so that uh, every telnet event here is logged to the server and then from router 1 just to generate some traffic for verification purposes here I'm going to go ahead and telnet into the switch from router 1 okay enter the passwords here and now that I bring up our TFTP and syslog server we can see we've got quite a few messages here we'll expand out the text value here just a little bit 
you can see we have the text string that comes from each message, the originating IP address, and then the timestamp here. Uh, the first, if you can remember when we uh, enabled and created that loopback adapter on router 1, you can see these loopback interface messages going up and down and then it's originating from router 1, the 192.168.1.1 address. And then down here when we open that Telnet connection, switch A is reporting its Telnet uh, debugging traffic to the server originating from the VLAN 1 SVI, a switched virtual interface. Now just glancing here, you can tell there's no real way to determine uh, where these messages are coming from. I know the IP addresses and you know the IP addresses just by looking at the diagram and uh, from what we've talked about. But if you have a large um, enterprise company, a huge company where you're running tons of devices and you have a lot reporting to one server, a good way to specify or add a little tag here of where the message is originating from is to add the origin ID uh, command onto the logging. So I'm going to bring up the router 1. I'm going to back out of that Telnet session. 